Hello there everyone, Ash and Flash here and welcome on into a very special unexpected video that a lot of you may or may not have known existed. My Discord I teased it a lot, but also on Instagram I teased it a little bit, but to tie in with the release of the brand new 1989 Batwing, which you can check a review out linked at the top here, I'm actually doing a CMF series of the four connected Batman films, not technically everything's connected now, but anyways, the four core films. If you haven't seen these movies, you know, go watch them. They're classics, so spoilers, I guess, for them, even though I don't think there are any, but regardless, if you are new, by the way, and this, maybe you've already thought that you've subscribed, please consider subscribing and turning on the bell notification so you don't miss out on future CMF series and different things like that. As of right now, 70% of the people that watch my videos are not subscribed. So if you're one of those, and maybe, I know every time I mention this, someone's like, oh, I, I swear that I was, and, and they wind up doing it. So if that's one of you guys, please consider doing that. I'd love to have you. But anyways, let's go ahead and let's get started. We've got three figures from each of the four movies. So the first character, of course, in the series is Batman himself from Batman 1989. And this is Michael Keaton. The best out of the three that we get from the four movies and I used the mouth that I created for fixing the figures which is a whole separate video and I actually designed a brand new cowl here and it's a new molded cape and I guess technically this figure is from the Batman Returns movie because when you actually take off the top of the cowl like when he rips it off you see the Bruce Wayne Michael Keaton face underneath and he's got the scar there from Selena and also the hair that I'm using here is actually Fred's from Scooby-Doo in black his accessories here are the same grapple gun and battering included in the Batmobile next up is a character who bottom down isn't anything new but the top I'm so proud of and this is the Joker from the museum scene the the Prince party man song oh my goodness one of my favorite scenes of that whole movie but specifically this figure is actually the whole reason why the series existed i was watching it in preparation to get ready for the batwing and i was like i need to draw that figure it was originally just going to be an accessory pack but i was like no i need to make a new a new hat and hair combo for him and his accessory here is just a small staff piece and i tried playing around with him putting on the makeup and it just, it was not working. So it's just this. Third in the series is a character that a lot of people are upset hasn't been put in any of the 89 sets. And this is Alfred Pennyworth. And he's in every single movie. And I'm just so shocked that we haven't gotten him. I'm really happy with the pieces that I used here. He's got the same collar piece that Alfred has from the Lego Batman movie. And, and he's got the slick back Bruce Wayne hair from 2012 in white. And his accessory is a teacup with a plate. The first character from Batman Returns is Max Shrek in his Beetlejuice-esque outfit and I'm really happy with how this figure turned out. I'm so happy that I was finally able to draw a Christopher Walken figure. Just so unique looking so it's fun to do. Anyways he's using the Doc Brown hair piece there in white and he also has a bow tie piece there in dark red and you're probably thinking what is his accessory and his accessory here is actually a mini build of the factory that he's talking about in one of the meetings at the start of the film next in the series is Danny DeVito's penguin and I'm so happy with how this turned out it was such a process of playing around with a bunch of different colors and ultimately this is what I settled on anyways some of you, if you're a fan of mine, will recognize the hair and hat combo for the Penguin here actually being the exact same from the Batman the Animated Series. And I've just recolored the hair there to be in dark gray. And his accessories here are actually an umbrella in black as well as a button there that says Oswald means order. Of course, the last character for Batman Returns is actually Michelle Pfeiffer's Catwoman. And she's here using the regular Catwoman helmet or cowl piece there with a bunch of printing on it as well as she comes with a black whip next starting things off with the batman forever movie we have robin himself and i took a lot of inspiration from the actual batman 1989 figure and i tried to make this new molded cape for him with this collar piece kind of molded into it with gold on the inside and black on the outside and his accessory here is actually a two by two tile print with one of the Riddler's riddles. The hair piece that he's using here is Finn's in dark brown. Second 
in the Batman Forever movie characters is actually Two-Face and I cannot explain to you how happy I am about this figure. I think that out of the four movies, this was the one that as a kid I would watch the most. And for some reason, Two-Face is just one of my favorite characters. Of course, it was the first Batman set that I ever got that really got me into Batman. And just Tommy Lee Jones' Two-Face is just, while his performance is really cringy, I think that his outfit is just so unique and colorful. And I loved drawing this figure. It is my favorite figure that I've drawn all year. And I, it's just one of my favorites that I've drawn ever, I think. I'm just so happy with how it turned out. Anyways, he's using the regular Two-Face hair there. I could have made a new piece, but it just works so well, I think, regardless. He's got a black revolver as well as his classic coin. And then next up, we have Jim Carrey's Riddler from the movie. I had to include him in the suit. I just prefer this version for him than any of the other outfits that he wears in them because they get really weird towards the end. But uh, he does come with a brand new cane piece there that I've designed in gold. And he's also using the bowler hat. Also included for him is Zane's hair from the Lego Ninjago movie in dark orange. And I also came up with this secondary just wacky face print. And I took a lot of inspiration here from Barty Crouch and how Lego did the tongue for this wacky look for Jim Carrey. Just because he's just crazy in that movie. Anyways, now we're on to the final film, and here we have Arnold Schwarzenegger's Mr. Freeze, and I'm really happy with how this turned out. Uh, I, I think that his performance is just so funny um, and campy, and anyways, here he is, and he's using a brand new helmet piece that I designed for him. He actually has the Bounty Hunters, and I think it's from Ninjago as well, the neck attachment there in silver, and I built a freeze gun just using existing parts there for him. Next up, we've got Poison Ivy, and she's coming with a brand new hair piece there. I had to make something new. It's just so unique, and the outfit that she's using, it's just so bright, and it's the one used in all the packaging, so that's why I chose this one over a couple of the other ones that she has. And her accessory here is actually this dome piece with a plant printing on it. And the final character in the series is Bane from Batman and Robin, and I'm just really happy with how this figure turned out. It was the last one that I did, and it was just so difficult to get the mask right, as well as the arm printing and the torso, and I'm just happy with how it turned out in the end. And his accessory here is a beaker of venom. Well, there you have it, everyone. That is all 12 of the characters from my Batman series, and I'm just really happy with this. This, I think, was an idea that Justin was kicking around a while ago, and of course, I could always return to this. There's so many outfits for some of the characters in this series, and even just, you know, I've missed some characters with Commissioner Gordon, of course. We've also got Batgirl in the last movie, and Billy D. Williams, Harvey Dent, Bob the Goon, you know, one that I campaigned for being included in the Batwing over Lawrence, and I don't think that I could justify him being over Alfred or Joker and Batman in this series when I'm doing three per movie. But anyways, everyone, what do you think of this series? I didn't really market or promote this at all. Uh, to you guys so i hope that you enjoyed the surprise but anyways everyone what did you think of the series i hope that you did enjoy it and i hope that you all have a great day i will see you all in the next one